Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Leonard Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm playing Naja. You might be asking, why am I playing Naja? Because so many people have been playing Naja recently, and I just want to find out why. Like, okay, well, I say I want to find out why. I know why. I'm not dumb. I know he got buffed. His alt now gives you protections, even if you, even if they CC a unit. Beforehand, your alt would only give you protections if you actually took them in the air and then landed. Um, but now you get protections even if you miss your alt or they beads it or whatever. And I think you also got more damage from one of your abilities, but I forget which ability. I just came back after two years. Have mercy. Never! I will not have mercy on you, demon. Uh, but yeah, so he's doing more damage. He's a little bit more tanky. And honestly, with max cooldown... Like, he's really not that bad. So, I want to see if... Uh, I want to see if I can catch a dub with him. Against an Anubis, I'm feeling okay. Like, it's not the greatest matchup in all of history, but... I've definitely had worse matchups. So... I think I'm okay with this. He did double buff. And I got here in time to get the XP from the first minion, which makes me hit level four. He's probably going to try to wrap me. Perfect. He missed. Oh, crit. Oh, if that crit, he was dead. All right. I'm doing very, very well. Him missing that wrap gives me so much leverage over the entire game. Basically, like it gives me farm. It gives me... Um, like a health advantage, which means more farm. And it lets me be more aggressive on the wave, which newsflash, more farm. <laughs> so basically him missing that rap gave me every XP camp. Does that kill? It doesn't. Important. Uh, he does have beads. I am level five. Maybe we could get that bead soon. Ideally. Okay. I don't want to take the full brunt of his damage on that, so I'm just going to ult it. Oh my, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Relax there. Yo, he didn't buy... Oh. He didn't buy, uh... Finnish Bancrofts and instead he bought chalices and stuff. I don't... I don't like that. Like... Bancroft's is your one and biggest power spike in the entire game. And you're delaying it for some sustain. Like this early in the game, I think you're much better off just... Uh, what is it called? Just um, like biting the bullet and backing early. Uh, he still has him back for Bancroft, so I'm going to try to abuse him. So. Alright, I'll admit. I guess I'm not abusing him right now. I'm not really getting lucky at all with my crit chance on my two. It's supposed to be 15%, right? Yeah, it's 15% and I haven't gotten a single crit all game other than on a buff. So, not the greatest luck there, but it's fine. I think my saving grace this game is the fact that I can... Okay, and then I just got two crits back to back. My saving grace is that I can sash uh, about 10 ticks of his ultimate, which is a lot of damage to avoid. And I can also bead his wrap, which means I can almost guarantee sash those ticks, which is it's really nice. His three down means I'm not that scared. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm cool with that. I am not really trying to fight, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm really not trying to fight. He's got that Bancroft, and that thing is going to be sucky for me. 
I don't want him clearing my wave like that. If you want to clear my wave, you got to put in some, some goddamn effort, dude. Okay. He doesn't die there, but he does take a decent amount. Um... Hmm. It's kind of stupid, but I think I want to go beat stick first. I could definitely go pestilence now, but I mean, full damage is going to just, just rail him if, when I ult, you know, <laughs> um, obviously he's at red buff. Oh, he's not at red buff. Okay. Okay. Jeez, Louise. He doesn't have blink or anything. I really don't understand this chase. Yeah, I, I don't understand what he's doing right now. Don't get it. Uh, all right. Let's just back. He gets red, but he had red way beforehand. Like, he didn't have to chase me, like, all the way around for red. I kind of want to go blue buff instead of speed. I can't help but feel like... Some cooldown would really be amazing right now. Oh, okay. You had to take the tower shot. Please don't be here. Perfect. And honestly, being only slightly down against an Anubis in the early game is really good. It's like Anubis insta clears, right? So I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of the Anubis. Oh, dude, Jotuns would actually be so good here. I want Beat Stick and I want Jotuns so bad. I'm, I'm going Jotuns because cooldown, but I don't know if that's the right play. I'm a little skeptical about my own decision. Okay. Coming through. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. He wants to play these games, man. He, he really wants to play these games. Oh, he actually backed. All right. Unexpected actual back from my enemy. Uh, Blink is going to be really important for me here. And like I said before, I want to go into Beat Stick. And the tier two of this item gives me 30 power. So that's super worth spending on. I would love a red buff. I think if I get red buff, I could probably kill him. I don't know. All right, he's dead as hell. Perfect. Perfect. He beats the sash. He beats the sash and uh then he ulted after beads because he thought that he was going to be able to live through. Like he was going to out damage me with it. But no, sorry. I don't even have beat stick either, actually. Hmm. Did your one get canceled? My three? 
I don't know. I don't know what one. Let's go. I want. I mean, he has. He has no beads up right now. And I do have ult. The only issue is I don't have any anti heal. And I don't know if no anti heal will be the death of me here. All right, his stun is down. No, dude. Oh god. I'm so dead. 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 He's coming. He doesn't have blink, so I'm actually chilling. He's still following. Oh. I probably could have killed if that three hit. I'm okay with it, though. I can't believe he lived through that, dude. I really can't believe he lived through that. Hydra's, by the way, is going to give me max cooldown, so... Almost. Almost killed. Damn, dude, this slow was not enough. I was contemplating... Okay. I was contemplating... Um, beadsing the slow from his three... Because it would have gave me enough movement speed to get my, my three on him a little bit earlier. But I mean, he wrapped me under tower. And if I didn't have beads for that wrap under, or under Titan, not tower. If I didn't have beads for that wrap under tower, Titan again, sorry. I would have been dead. So I guess my decision to not beads the three was fine. But I'll never really know if I dropped a kill because of it. I don't know why the fuck he just did Bull Demon. There is, there is actually no reason why he would ever do Bull Demon there. Realistically. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm dead. Well, that was a massive heal. What is he doing? Oh, that missed too? Seriously? I don't really know how these ones are missing. Well, at the end of the day, at least I get the full heal, basically. seems so scared of me even though he's the one with bull demon oh i'm dead all right that actually went a lot better than i thought it would And I just realized throughout all that fighting, he actually lost his bull demon buff. Like we fought for that entire bull demon duration. All right. Nice. I kind of want to go into more anti-heal, like a toxic blade. But then a part of me is like, what if you just went Titan's Bane and one shot him? Like that means my three alt combo is going to do basically true damage to him. That's going to do a lot of fucking damage, man. <laughs> Now, I will say, his beads are down, so I'm feeling better about my alt chances. But, it's still very predictable. I really want red buff. I don't think I can swing it, though. So instead, we wait. Oh, he's doing red right now.
All right. Massive damage. Oh, he's dead here. He's dead 100% here. Yep. I land the alt. And I have beads up for your sash. There's no world you live through that. Is this a, mat a bad matchup for Anubis or do I suck? Um, I think it's probably... I mean, I'm not going to say you suck. <laughs> I don't think it's horrible for Anubis. I think any god with a CC immune ult does better than any god without a CC immune ult. So, like, just in general, you're better than, like, half of the game in terms of matchups. But it's not great either because at the end of the day, you're a mage, which means I can one-hit you very easily. Get your beads. No beads? Yeah! Jesus, man. It's crazy because Naja actually lands from, from the alt. Naja lands faster than the enemy lands, which is so weird. So you can actually land and immediately press three. Like if you're spamming three while you're landing from Najah's ult, you guarantee 100% of the time hit the three. So it's uh, it's pretty pog. I don't know. Najah feels good, man. I don't know if it's the um, if it's the buffs or if for some reason I I just am feeling Najah right now, but it feels good. And it's really hard to like. Like, how are you going to stay out of Naja's ult? Um, how are you going to stay out of Naja's ult when the only CC immunity you have is beads? I mean, he has his ult too, but like... You can sash ult with an auto in between. The entire time, they, they don't have any, uh, any cooldown to react. Like, they have no chance to react. So you get at least... 60 70 percent of their health gone instantly and if you have beads up yourself like how are they going to react they, they're just going to die because your one slows too right when you land so i don't know that just seems pretty good i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe let me know what you think of naja and if he's good if he's bad if the buffs even matter and um yeah i mean honestly that's about it again hope you enjoyed and peace